at America's top research laboratory at Langley Field, Virginia, scientists are working on a new type plane with wing surfaces resembling a four-slat section of a Venetian blind. This model, with all four flaps down, rises almost straight up. Capable of high forward speeds, the versatile Venetian blind plane can hover overhead like a helicopter. Models with hydro skis instead of wheels are also tested at the laboratory, operated by the National Advisory Committee for Aeronautics. The hydro skis permit planes to take off and land on water, snow, and even wet sod. Watch as the model is accelerated to flying speed. American aviation research streaks ahead. Later, the Navy tests a jet fighter much like the hydro ski model. It's called the Sea Dart. Security officials tape our cameraman's lenses to prevent any close-up pictures of the plane. The Sea Dart churns up a towering spray as it takes off. After roaring through the skies like a conventional jet fighter, it touches down on its runway of water. Across the sea, a British jet is wheeled from its hangar. Test pilot Mike Lithgow at the controls for an assault on the world's aviation speed record. The old and the new meet on the Libyan desert near Tripoli. The course is the road that splits the sand below. The jet makes the first of four low-level passes. Ships of the desert watch as a ship of the sky streaks along to a new world record. 737 miles an hour. Over the desert, the victory roll. The record this day belongs to Britain. America, 10 days later, goes after the mark England has just set. Observers watch the blazing speed of the Navy's Sky Ray jet. For Lieutenant Commander James Verdon, congratulations on still a new record, 753 miles an hour. The Air Force's first supersonic jet fighter, capable of low-level flight faster than sound, hurtles into the sky. Called the F-100 Super Saber, the jet's knife-edge wings, swept back to a 45-degree angle, help make possible speeds of better than 12 miles a minute. Silver ship comes in so fast that a drag parachute must snap out to slow its landing speed. Test pilot George Welch's supersonic flight shattered windows along the route of his low-level runs. Air Force Thunderbirds, a team of trained combat instructors, show what can be done at terrific speeds with the versatile Thunder Jets. Flying in tight formation, 15,000 feet high, tests the judgment and skill so vital in aerial combat. Taking the cue by radio, the four Thunderbirds slip from one formation to another with the precision of a crack drill team. New planes, new speeds, new precision in aviation's jet A. Spectacular sight in the sky is the Scorpion, America's most powerful jet interceptor. Its wingtip pods carry a deadly sting, high-powered rockets. A flood of rockets leaves one wing pod in this slow-motion demonstration of firepower. Here's how the Scorpion's pilot sees it as the rockets burst, riddling an area bigger than a football field. Carrying 104 rockets, any one of which can destroy a bomber, the Scorpion is the Air Force's most heavily armed interceptor. A pilot and radar man can fly it in any weather, guarding the American sky. A strange sight is the helicopter that carries its own hangar. Someone just attaches the sling and there she goes, the first time an aircraft has flown off with its hangar. This demonstration by the Marine Corps shows how lightweight structures can be flown quickly to the front lines if needed. The hangar framework is made of extruded magnesium girders, a type of shelter that may eventually replace the centuries-old tent. The hangar is easily landed, after which the copter flies off to land itself. There is plenty of room. In use, a plastic canopy covers the framework hangar, a revolutionary military development. 
To abandon ship in the sky, the pilot is catapulted out, seat and all. A pull of the escape ring explodes a cartridge driving the seat from the bomber. At the proper moment, a timing device separates jumper from seat. It's all automatic, a fantastic sight in the sky. When he bailed out, he was traveling 500 miles an hour. Having slowed down, his automatic parachute opens and it's a happy landing. In this air age, when man is striving to go faster and faster, here's a really new invention, a plane that will go slower and slower. These wing slats let the Helio Courier loaf aloft at 30 miles an hour. Its amazing range is from 25 to 160. Past the George Washington Bridge in New York, the Helio Courier cruises far below its top speed. The pilot cuts speed to below 30, and even the truck underneath can outdistance the slowpoke overhead. Coming in, the plane demonstrates an almost postage stamp landing, another feature of the versatile Helio Courier. The Navy's Pogo plane is making sky history. The pilot rides on his back, and here it is, the first vertical takeoff ever made by a fighter aircraft. The plane climbs straight up, can hover overhead like this, and designers say that after further tests, it will also level off and fly horizontally at more than 500 miles an hour. A tail-first landing for the Pogo, an amazing new sight in the sky.